Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a bit out of the Express and Echo. Uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, February 13th, page 17. End of an era as city news agent is to retire. This is about Lang, Langmaids uh, on 4th Street, which is closing down on March 14th. Uh, but also in in this Express and Echo, uh, near the near the front of it, um, website expanding with launch of Exeter Live. So e- Exeter's got a dedicated website similar to Devon Live or Cornwall Live or Plymouth Live. Um, and then this week, uh, I think yesterday, Reach, which it used to be Mirror Group or Trinity Group or something. Um, it's announced it's it's definitely going very digital very online they think by the end of 22 there will be seven times the number of um users of the websites and uh reach will know lots about them they'll they'll log on and give their details and uh things like that that's that's the impression i got from it and it seems to be um very very well received as well the the share price for reach you don't normally get the the share price information on phonic fm certainly not on the we not know show but it just strikes me that reach may have uh succeeded at least in putting over the idea that um over the next three years they're going to be a very much bigger uh web website presence in the uk Based based on local, a lot of it will be based on local uh, reporting. So this is this is pretty amazing, um, but I I think maybe the news newspapers might not be. They might not be in the same in the same way that they are at the moment. I can see weekly publications, but they might they might end up more like magazines. Seems to me, um, because when you look around the the. The city, the the places where there used to be news agents, there's there's more of those than actual news agents, I'd say at the moment. And um, Smiths have moved the newspapers quite a way back from the front, and it's not always easy to see what what's there exactly. Some of the headline pages are front pages are upside down and things like that. Um, but the the other thing that's going on is is 5G. Uh, it's a bit less than it might be because uh, Barcelona's sort of closed down well it's not completely closed down but I know Sony are just putting clips onto YouTube they're not they're not trying to add to all the travel dangers that exist at the moment um, but they seem to have a very good uh, camera disguised as a phone or a phone disguised as a camera or whatever you want to call it whereas previously um, John, John's not here at the moment, but I, w- I, will, I will go back to this when, when, he, when he is here. Um, I thought this year was supposed to be about Sony, not Sony, um, Apple, Apple announcements in September, um, when they may or may not have done do a 5G phone. But it seems um, several people are going to do, do 5G phones anyway, much earlier. Whether or not UK cities have all got 5G, I think, I think Bristol has has potentially got 5G and then Plymouth and then Exeter will get get it at some point um, but the, th- the thing about this is that, that when you look at the amounts of data they can shift I think it will make a, a significant difference to how news exists in a city or a travel to work area I know I know Exeter's a, a peculiar sort of city in that uh, it's it's effectively spread out very very widely um, but I, I think um, movies or video probably will stream as as effectively as music does at the moment. So I think there will be quite a lot of changes, and um, how how FM radio fits in, not sure. Uh, anyway, I'll ca- I'll, ca- I'll ca- carry on about this. J- JD might have views about this. He may he may turn up later on. Not not sure. Um, but if not, we'll um, we'll meet for coffee next week and um, put clips on on YouTube or somewhere, or we'll carry on talking about this maybe on the on the Wild Show tomorrow. <laughs>